Have you ever wondered about the timing used by North Korea to get out its views and make provocations? For instance, it so often conducts missile tests early in the morning. Well, in fact, we can pick up on a pattern. And this is particularly relevant for the messages that the North wants the world to report on. The leader's sister, Kim Yo-jong, herself a senior figure within North Korea's Workers' Party, has regularly been behind statements intended for the outside world. And these have been released at what might be considered odd hours. Back on January 27th, she condemned US military support for Ukraine at 10.30 p.m. local time. But this would be perfectly appropriate if the goal was to gain maximum attention in the morning in the United States. And when Kim Yo-jong wants to speak to South Korea, after all there's been no inter-Korean dialogue for years now, her messages are released in the morning here. A case in point would be February 20th, when she refuted Seoul's doubtful assessment of North Korea's intercontinental ballistic missile technology at around 7 a.m. And when it comes to criticizing the US for deploying strategic assets in South Korea, Kim apparently targeted the South with her 6.30 a.m. warning not to further aggravate the situation on the Korean Peninsula back on March 7th. And this doesn't only apply to Kim Yo-jong. Let's take a look at a few other examples. Lee Pyeongchal, vice chairman of the Central Military Commission of the Workers' Party, issued a warning just this past Monday at 8 p.m. He justified North Korea's development of nuclear weapons on the basis of the increasing military threat from the U.S., while also accusing America of interfering in the North's internal affairs via the UN Security Council. 8 p.m. here is 7 a.m. in Washington, D.C., just where Pyongyang would have wanted V to be heard most. And on March 22nd, Jo Chol Su from North Korea's foreign ministry also released a statement a little after 8 p.m. here, taking issue with the way the U.S. had raised North Korean human rights at the UN Security Council. And yet another example is another senior Workers' Party official, Park Jong Chan, criticizing a joint South Korean-U.S. military drill just after midnight last November 2nd. So, what we have here is a growing pattern that points to Pyongyang's external communication strategy and helps reporters here in South Korea better understand why they're having to be alert to North Korean news around the clock.